It is unknown why so many dolphins come ashore here. One factor is believed to be the tricky topography, the cape, which acts as a kind of trap for these animals. And the number of strandings so far this year is staggering. Another day, another dolphin found dying or dead. So many are coming ashore now, rescuers are no longer waiting for the calls. It's not prudent to wait anymore because we've had so many strandings right in a row. We're staging our teams uh, out in the field. We're actually departing now before low tide to be out in Wellfleet, which is our hot spot. Every day, crews from the International Fund for Animal Welfare gear up, drive to Wellfleet, and wait. Every single day this week, more dolphins have been found. We're very tired. We're, 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 uh, we've been going from January 12th, and uh, the team is actually just exhausted, and uh, so it's, it's almost a, a daily event now. About 200 animals strand themselves on the Cape each year, but not all of them dolphins. So this sad phenomenon is baffling scientists. So far, 129 dolphins have stranded themselves in just over a month, 80% of them here in Wellfleet. Of those, just 37 could be saved, 92 dolphins have died. It's in fact the largest single species stranding that we've had in, in this area of the U.S. A sad battle rescuers can barely keep up with, let alone win. And IFA is calling in crews from the aquarium and other places for mutual aid just so their own folks can get a single day off. And another crisis is brewing. Because of the number of strandings, the organization has almost exhausted its rescue budget for the year. Reporting live from Wellfleet, Janet Wu, 7 News. Okay, the bloom is off the rose. That's what Janet said about the storm <laughs> as she covers it in Andover. Oh, uh, well. Kim, things have changed now. I actually want to break up with this storm fully. I am done with this storm. As you can see, this storm is really kind of slapping me in the face right now, so I'm not very happy. And take a look at my feet. The plows were just through here an hour ago. Now, of course, a lot of this is through the drifting, but this is just incredible. Miracle is the best way to describe it. Just days after this surgery, that man can already move his fingers. Now, we've seen Brigham and Women's Hospital make medical history this year with a trio of face transplants and now medical history again with a surgery that is restoring to one man his sense of touch. Wheeled in for the world to see, Richard Mangino looks perfectly fine, but those hands are new, transplanted in a remarkable surgery. We are following breaking news at this hour. Cambridge police are responding to a report of a man with a long rifle and body armor reportedly in an MIT building on Mass Ave. This afternoon, we began learning the names of all 26 victims of this school massacre, including the 20 children. Did you see that show in the sky? last night. I was reading all about it on Twitter. People up and down the East Coast reported seeing what was most likely a meteor. This video was taken in suburban Maryland. First Lady Michelle Obama shows off her moves on the Jimmy Fallon show. It was part of an effort to promote her Let's Move Health and Fitness campaign and boy does she move. She knows how to bust a move, especially the classics, the first lady and a feminine looking Fallon showed us the evolution of mom dancing with Mrs. Obama eventually out dancing him by doing the Dougie. Now, I've seen Napoleon Dynamite, so I know some of those and she does the sprinkler everything, but what's the Dougie? Oh, uh, well, I'm not going to show the moves, anything like that. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't uh, terrify right. the audience with I that. Tried, I've heard folks. it. I, I think I know what it is, but no, <laughs> she's not going to get me there. Judges will have to narrow the field to 65. Final auditions will be held next week. Okay, looking at all those abs, I think I'm going to go home and do some sit-ups. Did you ask them to wear clothes to the trial? They should just wear, <laughs> wear your underwear. Were you complaining and... there? No, no, not oh, complaining. I'm yeah. just saying I wonder if that was, a, that was part of the description. Oh, boy.